Welcome to the kitchen where we make everything but pasta. Today I'm going to be making some maple walnut cheesecakes and they are just the perfect size to bring to a party or um, just for dessert. I'm going to be visiting a friend of mine tomorrow who I haven't seen in a while due to the COVID situation and uh, we're going to meet for a socially distanced meeting and um, I would like to bring him some. So. Without further ado, let's get started. For the recipe, we're gonna need the following ingredients. To make the crust, we have a cup of walnuts, three tablespoons of packed brown sugar, and two tablespoons of butter. For the filling, we have one package of uh, softened cream cheese, one egg, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna use a teaspoon of vanilla, and a third of a cup of uh, medium maple syrup. To candy the walnuts, I have 12 pieces of walnuts, three tablespoons of cornstarch, and three tablespoons of granulated sugar. So let's begin. So to make the crust, we're going to add the walnuts and the brown sugar into the food processor. Next, we're going to pulse the butter into the crumb mix. Our crust is now ready and we are going to press it into our cheesecake cups. We're going to put equal portions into each of the 12 cups and press it down. Now that our cupcakes have been lined with the crust and pressed into it, we're going to bake it in a 350 degree oven for about 12 minutes. Remove the cr baked crust from the oven and let it sit on a cooling rack for about 20 minutes while we prepare the filling. To prepare the filling, we're going to add the cream cheese in a mixer and cream it until it's nice and fluffy. Now I'm gradually going to add the syrup and the vanilla and mix it. Next, add the egg and mix gently and then add the flour and mix until completely combined. Next we'll spoon the cream cheese mix into the cups. The smell of the maple syrup and vanilla is divine. Now I'm going to put the cheesecake in the oven at 325 degrees for about 15 minutes or until the sides are turning just a, a little brown. While this is going on, I'm going to go prepare the candied walnuts. I'm going to take the walnut, dip it in the corn syrup and removing any excess, then dip it in the sugar. And place it right side up. We're going to do this for all the walnuts and then we are going to um, place it in the oven at 325 degrees and cook it for about 15 minutes and we'll turn it once um, halfway through. The cheesecakes are ready so we're going to take them out and put it on a wire rack to cool off. The walnuts are now out of the oven and I'm going to let it sit on the parchment paper to cool off. Once they are cooled and the cheesecake has uh, cooled I'm going to assemble the, um, the final product by adding the walnuts on the cheesecake. So the cheesecake are completely cooled now and I'm going to add the, um, the walnut, candied walnuts and then finish it up. It smells delicious. I can smell the maple syrup. I can smell the the caramel sh sugar here from the walnuts and it delicious smelling. So there you have it, our delicious and bite-sized maple walnut cheesecakes. If you like this recipe, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more delicious recipes. Thanks for watching.
Bye.